Gates, along with their respective business managers and all of the departments of Layuna. Also, government officials here tonight from all levels of government, federal, provincial, and municipal, who were able to join us tonight. As for my comments here this evening, I want to keep up my remarks brief. I would now like to welcome this year's scholarship recipients and their families, because they are the real stars of tonight's event. Let's give it up for them. They're all here tonight. <laughs> with a financial scholarship of up to $10,000 during the course of their post-secondary education. I also need to now thank our retirees. And you know what, guys, brothers and sisters and ladies and gentlemen, I take this to heart every time I do this because if it wasn't for our retirees, we would not be here tonight. It was because of the vision that they had many years ago that today we are collecting the fruits of the plants that they, they, that they planted for us. And you know what? Let's give it up for them before I, I say a few words about them. Can you guys please stand up with the tonight? You know, we wouldn't be as, as strong if it wasn't for what our retirees undertook many years ago. Some of those years filled with labor and rest. They fought, and I mean, they fought, because that is what Layuna and Local 183 is all about. We're about justice, honor, and strength, which makes us the best and the largest, the largest construction union in North America. And you know what, brothers and sisters, those fathers and mothers that are here tonight, you should be very proud of this organization, and you should be very proud of the hard work that you've done day in and day out, and the sacrifices that your families have made to bring your, your sons and daughters here today to collect the scholarship. Let's give it up for the parents of these, these students here today. Tonight we have the pleasure of awarding 64 scholarships to these very deserving young men and women. I want to congratulate all of the recipients who were selected for the scholarships this year. You are the best of the best. You will be the leaders of tomorrow in whatever employment path you choose to take on whether it be in healthcare, technology, management, legal, accounting, medicine, or otherwise. In judging your collective qualifications and outstanding academic records, it looks like our future is very bright. Regrettably, to those who didn't get selected this year, I encourage each of you to apply again next year and to keep pushing yourselves because hard work always pays off. On behalf of the Executive Board and I, and along with the entire membership of Laino Local 183, let me first say how proud we are to be here and hosting this event for each of you tonight. We hope that each scholarship is put to good use to help in a modest way with your education. These scholarships are one of the many ways in which Local 183 gives back to our community, and what better way to do that than, than to give financial assistance to the children and grandchildren of our hard-working hard members and retirees. To each of you, you must remember and never forget those who have helped you along the way. Always remember your roots, your family, and your connection with Layuna and Local 183. And I'm gonna beg you, I'm gonna ask all of you recipients here tonight, never forget where you came from. Because I'm sure your parents have not forgotten where they come from. I also want to thank the parents of all the scholarship recipients. You have done an outstanding job of raising your children as a parent. Myself, I know all well the sacrifices each of you made to get your son or daughter to this point in their lives. On behalf of the great membership of Local 183, we collectively thank you. When we call out your son or daughter's name later on tonight, we hope you are filled with pride, as you no doubt should be. Please, everyone, enjoy this evening, and thank you very much for attending this very important event. <laughs>